Hello, Internet. Uh, today we're going to have a live stream on uh, Superfast Premium content with uh, Next.js. And with me today, I have Borg, who will show us, the, show us the ropes on how this works, basically. Because there is a new feature, am I right, Borg? Uh, in terms of some configurations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well summarized. Yeah, so uh, what we are going to talk about today is premium content. So um, you've seen this many times online, where you have a newspaper, it might be a streaming service, uh, and you need to either become a member or uh, you have to purchase access to get access to the content. Uh, you've probably also noticed that in a lot of these um, uh, newspapers or uh, what have you, the actual user experience is quite uh, poor uh, because the uh, uh, they're using some CSS uh, overlays or they're using some uh, slow tricks to kind of differentiate the uh, paid content from or the premium content from the actual uh, open content on the article. So this goes into many scenarios from e-learning to uh, newspaper, online magazines. Uh, you could use it for uh, you know partner access on a web shop to get access to uh, you know vendor specific information or uh, what do I know. Um, so so it's a very common case where you want to restrict access to content, uh, but typically. This is done in a slow way. That's uh, kind of what we want to prevent, right? Um, and I'm showing now the, uh, we call it the content and commerce boilerplate, which we have updated uh, actually today with uh, some new capabilities. Um, we are using Crystallize for, for all the content and um, the, um, the product information because there's, there's also uh, products here. Uh, we'll not talk too much about products uh, today um, because we will do a second iteration on this topic where we will show how you can purchase or you know sell access to premium content but uh, today we'll talk about how you can uh, achieve premium content on your site um, I think uh, what I can start by showing is probably the uh, uh, the backend in crystallize just to show how the content is organized. Uh, and we have done at least one live stream on this uh, boilerplate, um, which uh, is called Voyage. Uh, by the way, you can access uh, this um, site. It's live, voyage.superfast.shop, or Voyage, Voyage, yeah. Um, and here we have uh, rich content. So we have some stories here, uh, for example, we did the story uh, story here on the uh, you know farm life, for example. Let's say you're really interested in farm life and you want to learn more about that. And oh, this is premium content. Uh, so the way it's configured in Crystallize is pretty simple. It's a rich article, and we just added a switch. It's exclusive. Uh, and then it's the structure that, that you might have seen before with authors, you have some hero images, video, and then the actual story in this case is, uh, let me turn off notifications. <laughs> um, uh, the stories is a paragraph collection, which is a repeating set of uh, text, rich text, images, and our videos. So it's a very versatile, and, but also a very simple setup. So here we have a, we see some of the premium content about the sheep, that you can make your own wool, you can knit socks, you can knit sweaters. Yeah. I know why people who buy buy this, but at least create an account, because this is this is premium content. This is premium content. <laughs> all sheep, sheep over cars, and what? then uh, there's even a cow here. So this is, I mean, top, top premium content, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and just to show uh, first how it uh, works. So, me as a visitor, I scroll down, I see the farm life, and I really, really, really want to read this article. Uh, as we have established, this is essential. So what we have implemented now is the member content. So you become a member by logging in, uh, creating an account, essentially, uh, and then you get access. 
next stream, we will also add a button to purchase premium access so that you can have different tiers of access. But right now, I'll just uh, log in. This is standard service API in uh, Crystallize, where we have a uh, magic link that is now sent to my email, which I will uh, then click. And I'll do that off screen. Um, once my email loads, I'll click this, and then get basically redirected to the uh, Voyager Superfast shop. And then just to verify, I can also click on my account icon. And hey, I'm logged in. Uh, so nothing more spectacular on the on the login side. It's a magic link, and, and then you're in. Um, and then I will be able to look at some really good stories. I can look at the farm life, uh, and uh, I can scroll down, and I can wow. just watch <laughs> sheep. <laughs> and of course, uh, um, uh, sorry, but, uh, but uh, this is of course available through the Crystal CLI as well uh, in the boilerplate, the Voyage boilerplate. So, yeah. like Port said, all of this is updated today. So, if this is uh, uh, use case suited for you. This is a starting point. Yeah, and it's an example of using Crystallize uh, with uh, videos, and it's uh, AWS Elemental, which is doing the mm -hmm. transcoding and delivery of uh, videos. So they're um, they're fast and scalable. Uh, of course, you can configure the the, the default bitrate, etc. And now I'm streaming from my my laptop, so it selects a low resolution by default. But uh, anyhow, uh, it's. Uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, you can have a setup where you can easily mark the articles or the content you want to have as premium. And of course, now we're doing this with some articles. This could be, you know, just um, e-learning videos, uh, for example. And you could uh, envision that you would either sell a subscription to the whole catalog for e-learning, or that you will sell access just uh, based on, for example, one course, so that you can have different products either as a one-off digital product or as a subscription. So it's, uh, we'll get back to that in the in the next stream. Um, so this is the functionality. We have the uh, the content in uh, Crystallize. Uh, we have the boilerplate now showing with the live uh, uh, deployed version of the boilerplate. And uh, what uh, did Rick say? We have a CLI. So uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, visible. Well, basically spoiled everything. <laughs> yeah. You're getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that was the plan. Um, because today I'm going to show code, and I'll pretend that I wrote the code because Hokon uh, did not write that code. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically designed and uh, wrote the code for the functionality yeah. airborne. Yeah, today, and uh, and we will show a feature that was released uh, yesterday, I believe, by the Vercel team on Next.js. Um, which is the um, quite cool uh, because we're using um, Next.js to generate static uh, content on edge, basically. So everything is always fast, and then it's uh, you know uh, regenerating in the background. But now we have two different versions of a particular piece of content. So what we want to do is conditionally serve a fast pre-generated version of that page or that video page or the e-learning page or the you know partner section on your uh, web shop for example um, so the conditional um, path or URL rewrites is what uh, um, was added to next.js yesterday and finally we can do things like this but also other personalization kind of scenarios is um, is what you can use this for. Um, so I just started the uh, MPX uh, installer for Crystallize, uh, and I called uh, my project for premium-content, and just installing some packages, which, of course, I'm using all my bandwidth now to stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually faster. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's uh, this uh, installer didn't have the most priority on my Mac now. But anyhow, uh, now we will get a, a menu, which allows us to basically select which of the boilerplates um, that we have available. And the one we're using, uh, you can check out on 
our website, Crystallize. And you will find it under Learn. And then we have an open source section. And if I click open source, not the uh, user guides. It helps. Uh, <laughs> And it's the storytelling e-commerce. It's a content and commerce long form storytelling was the concept for this uh, boilerplate. Um, and we have today updated, uh, we, it's Håkon and Didrik that has updated this today. Uh, so you can run the CLI and if you're not streaming, it will be kind of quick. Uh, and then you choose this content and commerce uh, boilerplate. I'm just going to connect to the demo tenant, uh, which is what I, showed you a couple of times now here. Um, and right now, this will probably take uh, take a little bit because it's uh, installing the uh, uh, the packages from the Git, uh, well, both packages and cloning the Git repo. I guess that's what's going on. Um, While that's going on, uh, maybe you can just tell some jokes to Rick, right? Oh, I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really don't have any, but uh, what we can talk about is uh, different use cases like uh, uh, you have been talking a bit about, but it is, uh, for example, in this case, we have some articles that are premium. Usually it might be the opposite direction that you have something that is free uh, mm. and the rest is basically uh, paid content. Mm. And by using this approach, it's of course up to you to decide uh, what's your use case. It could also be let's say, a streaming service where some videos are working mm. or are free. Or maybe it's just one of the videos. The first, uh, I know that Apple's uh, approach is that they have the first episode free of each mm -hmm. season uh, and, uh, to get people hooked. And then for the next episode, you have to pay, of course. Mm. And a personal opinion is that I always hate coming to a paid article and I start reading. And then the, when you start scrolling, then the paywall appears because then I'm already invested. <laughs> yeah, this is actually on the design which uh, which you did. Which I created. Yeah. <laughs> so how to you know you land on this farm and say okay this is a beautiful article I really want to uh, read this or if it's a video or what have you uh, and of course now I'm logged in I see this you know sheet but if I log out I'll just show what uh, Didrik uh, talked about. Uh, I'm now logged out. And then if I go to this article here, which is another premium article, coffee from seed to cup, then yes. I get the premium content. So it's like, uh, okay, I'm looking forward to reading this now, and then you're going to get, uh, I guess, disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's personal opinion, but now I've followed, uh, I'm not going to say best practices, but uh, the usual practice when it comes to a paywall. Yeah. Um, while designing this, but uh, let us know what you guys think. And so what I did while uh, Didrik did not uh, tell a joke is basically uh, the uh, installer uh, finished uh, and I just entered the folder premium content. And this is the, the code which uh, I wrote earlier today, Hokon wrote earlier today. Um, and there's a couple of interesting things and um, I guess we'll, basically start with the uh, the rewrites. So this is happening on the edge, but it's configured in Next.js. That's uh, quite neat because in my repo, I will be able then to define redirects for, in this case, everything under stories. So content under stories here. Uh, and basically, if we have a cookie, this is the new thing that has, uh, that has been added, the has has been added uh, to the rewrite so that you can conditionally check for cookies. Uh, in this case, we made it extremely simple. We had a cookie which we called authorized and the value is true. Maybe not the most secure, maybe not very hard to guess, but anyhow, that's what we did. And then it rewrites to uh, an alternative version of the article with a very obfuscated URL dash underscore dash underscore dash exclusive. 
So this is something that, of course, uh, is an obfuscated URL, and this will be available publicly, but it will never be exposed, um, not in any robots text or anything uh, like this. And so Google will never cr crawl it. Uh, and of course, the uh, downside of this approach is that visitors can guess this URL, but you can also change this every day and it could be, you know, uh, totally random, whatever type of uh, piece of content. So this is the configuration which does the magic and it basically defines if I'm now getting conditionally, but it's super fast. I'm getting the non-logged in uh, version or if I'm getting the logged in version. Uh, so this is the configuration for that. So what you're saying is that you do actually have two sets of the same URL almost, or the same piece yeah. of content. It's mm -hmm. just that one is uh, cut by a paywall uh, and the exclusive one is not, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, but also the paywall is, this is just the design you made, right? So this is mm -hmm. just HTML you added that uh, if you're not logged in, if cookie or the magic condition that we set isn't uh, yeah. existing, then, then you get this page. Yeah, basically Hawkon gave me a variable to to think about or yeah. to uh, to render out in different uh, ways. But uh, this is basically what's happening behind the curtain. Yeah, and if you want to look at the actual code where you would uh, modify this, and again, we took the standard uh, boilerplate from Voyage. Um, you go to the stories and the story in JS, uh, and this uh, curly brackets is a dynamic thing that uh, is in Next.js. So it's for all the stories. Um, basically, uh, so this is a query to fetch all of the content. We have covered that in a different live stream, uh, specifically also on this uh, boilerplate. So I'm scrolling through that. So it's a very explicit GraphQL query to get exactly what we need in this, uh, this story. Um, what we are doing since we're fetching dependent on, so each article has two URLs, one which is, uh, uh, exclusive, so it's got this uh, post pended uh, variable at the uh, at the URL. Um, so we basically need to remove that because what we're doing here is a, a lookup in uh, in Crystallize for that particular story. So the and the way the catalog in Crystallize works is that this matches directly to the canonical path in the Crystallize uh, catalog. So. Uh, that's what we're doing here. Um, and also, uh, basically, uh, if we go a little bit uh, further down, so this is uh, here, we're just uh, getting the uh, content, um, which is the same for both articles, if it's uh, exclusive or not. Um, but uh, remember that we have this... Um, yeah, Switch. we have this, <laughs> but we we also have the cookie. So there's uh, there's two things to to watch out. For. Um, okay, so let's go down to where did it would modify the code, right? Yeah. So all all of this uh, thing here is uh, basically fetching the variables or the components from Crystallize, story byline images, etc. Basically, all, everything that makes out the story. This okay. guy is exclusive, is also fetched there. So we know that this is an exclusive um, story. And we're also interested in, am I logged in as a user? Those two variables uh, or decide basically how it's rendered, right? Hmm. Because if it is an exclusive story and I'm not logged in, you will get the paywall or the login page. Um, we'll get back to the to the login because this is the magic link, and there's a we just set a, an additional cookie there. Um, so this is the actual rendering of the article. Uh, there's a uh, schema definition here. Uh, we'll just skip that for now. Uh, but basically, it's uh, meta information structured data for uh, Google uh, to access, and then we have the actual content. And the content is basically two parts. One is, this was a short one, the, the paywall. <laughs> oh, really short. Oh. 
Definitely. Yeah. It basically just shows a button and uh, some illustrations. So it's a different component where you can add the, uh, well, for the next live stream, where we will add some buy buttons or login buttons. Um, yeah, here. Uh, and since board is not logged in, that is what we're showing. Since uh, all of those uh, uh, booleans or basically flags are, well, it's not hitting any of them. Yeah. Uh, none of this is true. And here we're basically checking uh, if it's uh, an exclusive article. So if it's not a premium article, it's free for everyone anyways. And then uh, we need to check if it's uh, an exclusive path. Uh, so if uh, if we're trying to access uh, premium content, um, and of course, we're also checking if we're logged in here. Um, and then this is basically what was uh, already in the uh, in the boilerplate, uh, in terms of that's just what's rendering the articles. And I'll just go to a free one just to uh, repeat what uh, this is showing. Aurora Borealis, for example. So it's basically this uh, repeating section of uh, you know, some overlay text on a big image or video. Hmm. This is uh, just to repeat ourselves. This is, uh, of course, a good example where you can have uh, Long story, uh, but uh, with uh, products as well. So you have a long story to maybe sell your products, or it's uh, the products you're talking about, or well, whatever fits your need. And it looks like the bulk with code there, uh, it looks a bit much, but that's just be because or, it is not much for that long of a page <laughs> when I come to think of it. But of course, this is one explicit layout type that we have created for this uh, boilerplate, but uh, it's then again, totally up to you how you want to, uh, to design it or render it. And this story here, we're just using the paragraph collection as the, yes. uh, the content, which is a, a construct in Crystallize uh, for simple management of a title, a rich text, images, and videos, mm -hmm. so that you can easily build you know, articles and, and, and also rich stories like this. Yeah. Um, so if you, if you look at Crystallize, what this is, looking like is basically this uh, this is a paragraph collection where you have a title you have rich text you can add images you can add videos and you can repeat this structure mm. so it's quite simple editorially but also quite simple when you're then building the front end for it so that's the two sides uh, we're, we talked about now it's the uh, the next config which has the, the path rewrites mm conditionally based on a cookie and then we just prepend something to the to the path uh, and then we have the actual checks in the code if uh, if we're going to render the payable or not um, what else can we uh, talk about here yeah um, here we're actually generating two uh, two edge sides for each of the, uh, or two edge caches for each page, regardless if it's uh, paywalled or not. So uh, we could have probably modified that a bit, but uh, even if this is a not exclusive article, we actually generate both of them just because, well, it was released Why not? yesterday. <laughs> it was released yesterday, so yeah. <laughs> it's a quick solution. It was a quick example. Yeah. Um, other than that, we also added the the login, and this is basically using the um, oh, I see. Service uh, okay. Let's see uh, how come you changed it. Uh, sorry. Uh, it is basically using uh, the service API um, for sending the magic link. Isn't that what we were going to talk about? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so basically, we are <clears throat> we are using the. Um, uh, the service API to um, uh, to log us in. So it's sending the email in the service API, and I get my email. I click on it, and then it sets a cookie in the service API. But what we're uh, and if that's successful, we're actually redirecting to this uh, login uh, API slash login page, hmm. um, which is basically just setting an additional cookie. And I guess this is the the point uh, where we're uh, setting. Um, a cookie, and, and we're also uh, redirecting. Um, yeah. Next, it is uh, authorized equals true. Yeah. Or and authorized that, equals deleted. 
Yeah. And then we have, um, so yeah, this is a cookie. Uh, of course, this is the uh, key and this is the value. And then logout, we're also uh, deleting the cookie here. So this is kind of the, the lines of magic because this is what we're setting on the domain. Uh, in our case, the Voyager Superfast Drop. Mm. This is what Next.js in the, is then checking on the edge. So that's what's triggering this uh, configuration. And then we basically just end up with a good old if statement in our article. <laughs> Uh, scrolling down, scrolling down, uh, which we looked at, which is basically conditionally rendering the article based on the status and if the article is exclusive or not. That's basically the round trip of what we what we added to the uh, long form content, long form storytelling boilerplate. So you get this premium content here, uh, and again. Uh, if we want to look at the really good premium content, the farm life, <laughs> I can scroll and ah, I need to be logged in. So I'm sending myself a link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then bother by adding a loader <laughs> to the button. So maybe yeah, I got, uh, got it twice. Oh yeah, I clicked it twice. That's uh, what you say. I got two emails in my inbox. Yeah. That's uh, correct. And again, this is a starting point just to show how the tech works, right? So yeah. this is uh, an example of how we can use this technology. And again, it could mm -hmm. be articles like this, or it could be uh, you know HD videos. Um, both can be uploaded to Crystals. And for videos, we use Elemental. And then you can oh, let's look at uh, look at the sheet. Yeah. So the complete round trip here is basically that uh, you put in your email, you get a magic link token that you click, of course, in uh, your inbox. Mm -hmm. uh, we reroute you to, some, I think it was login, logout inside of the boilerplate, which sets mm -hmm. the cookie. Um, yeah. And uh, for, the, for uh, logging out, it's basically just a link to slash logout, and then it deletes the cookie. Yeah. So it's cookie-based, uh, mm -hmm. but everything is static. So it's super, super fast. It's, it's yes. really... Let's check no, of course. Yeah, you can check the page. But, but it's, of course, because uh, we have seen this problem before that, OK, if you add a paywall, um, what do you do with Google, for example? Because you don't want to block the content for uh, the robots to actually see it, uh, mm -hmm. like many people do today, or many solutions do, mm -hmm. um, because it is a valid point. If not, Someone with a bit of technical skill can hide the, the, the overlaying content or the overflow hidden CSS style or whatever. Um, but doing like this, uh, what would be the approach for? I'm asking as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're just uh, giving a long, long question. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so there's, uh, uh, first of all, uh, back to the performance. Uh, that's how you dodge your question, Didrik. Oh, good, uh, good. <laughs> So, so this uh, this boilerplate is kind of using the big background image and or video. So it's kind of the main thing you don't want to do if you're going to score well in PageSpeed. But even this scores 94 and 99. So it's a okay. good starting point for a fast media site. But if you want it to be indexed in Google, there's two things. Uh, there is actually one recommendation from Google in the structured data for um, having two divs so that you put premium content actually in the DOM. Um, and also reference this in the um, structured data microformat. I don't think that's the best approach because you shouldn't really have it in the page uh, because then you kind of give away your free content. Uh, um, I mean. It's available in the HTML, so it's uh, it's not uh, beautifully rendered, etc. But it's uh, possible to decipher for uh, developers or internet uh, savvy people. Uh, but it's basically to use the structured data article uh, format, yeah. which we also have in the um, uh, in the boilerplate here. So it's the um, schema article schema 
uh, that you use for this. And then we didn't uh, modify this now, but uh, we are planning to do that in the next live stream where we set up the example uh, as a best practice for paid content articles so that they are indexed, but still, uh, you know, we have two different pages on the edge uh, that is serving separate pieces of content so that we don't have it in the DOM and we don't use clever JavaScript trickery on the page, et cetera, with overlays and all sorts of uh, poor user experience that you've seen in newspapers and magazines and a lot of subscription-based um, sites uh, today. Yeah, so actually I saw some examples where uh, you load the page and then you get everything uh, because uh, they want yeah. it to be indexed. And uh, after a second of load, when JavaScript actually kicks in, it hides the content again. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, it's a very nifty solution out there. Um, I see that we also have a question or maybe a statement that uh, uh, the API slash login redirect can be done out of the box with the uh, Next.js redirects from the new version 10.2. Well, that's news to me. <laughs> yeah, so, well, what I was going to say was that, well, Håkon can cover that in part two of this lesson. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm basically a stand-in for Håkon today. So I didn't write any part of this. Uh, and that's why I'm uh, also just uh, just showing the code. But it's uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's um, very versatile in terms of there's many cases you can use this. Now we do it in terms of premium content. But you can envision this being used for all sorts of personalization. So that uh, if you're a B2B or a B2C customer, you can change a landing page, for example, based on customer preferences. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, uh, if the customer uh, comes from a specific site, et cetera, et cetera. So you can kind of uh, make a super fast but personalized uh, experience. That's the point here. And in this case, the personalization is basically, are you logged in or not? That's basically what we do here. Uh, what we will do in the next, uh, next one is also to add the buying of um, products so that you're actually signing up to a subscription. Maybe we'll also do an example of like one-off purchase for digital products. So it would be typical e-learning or, you know, like uh, here in Norway, the, the kids have to get the certificate to, you know, ride boats um, uh, when they're 16. Uh, and then uh, that's something you can do online now to purchase access to a, a course and an exam. So. That's the, like a one-off uh, digital purchase, and they get access for a year or something like this. Of oh, course, this is a nifty solution how to st statically generate uh, web pages. And you still use personalization, like mm -hmm. you have said sometimes. So it goes hand in hand with what I love, at least. Personalization and speed. And yeah. speed. Yeah, sorry, that was a question. I didn't get it. The, the image, the picture of you is so small in this live stream. <laughs> but, uh, I think that uh, that's uh, what we wanted to show in this uh, first one. Uh, and yeah. we want to be, so this was literally released, I think it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before. Uh, but we're going to extend this um, further to also make better examples of digital products, uh, subscription based products. And maybe also tiered access, so that you could have, you know, access to different uh, categories in the um, uh, premium content, for example. So mm -hmm. that's what's up next in our uh, part two of this live stream. But we wanted to get this one out as it's uh, it's a cool new feature uh, that is now available on Next and uh, Versa. Um, so check it out, and uh, you can already. As I said, uh, check out the boilerplate Voyage Super Fast Shop, um, or you can try yourself with the MPX installer and check out the code, etc. Perfect. I think uh, we call it a day. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Yes, yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs> That's what Stavros says. Yeah. <laughs>